Where are we going? Madagascar. Where are we now? Paris. The plan in Madagascar is to find an, unbelievable, moving, like, moving the an unbelievable amount of awesome caves and awesome waves. Yeah. Discovered another limitation of doubles. <laughs> good luck, good luck diving doubles in a canoe in Africa going up the river. Yeah, good luck with that. Are we there yet? No. Oh. So after uh, one African hour, we're still not there. We found out, wait, what we found out is so that you multiply the factor of four. And an African hour is very similar to, to a Dominican hour. To a Dominican hour and to a Mexican hour. Yeah. Go faster. Fuck you. <laughs> now at the, uh, the beginning of the river. Go, saber como ese? Yeah, and Duaran. And we're at the beginning of the river right now where the river comes out of the mountain and there's like a bunch of like holes with water coming out and we're gonna check because uh, we heard of one spring here. day one in uh, the south part and I just came out of uh, this cave and it looks exactly like Cenote Cristal, it's pretty cool and it connects to the bat cave I think we have to go check it. Yeah. Because it's 300 meters away dude yeah so it has to be that and uh, we're here with the lemurs Like six, uh, woke up a little while ago. We're getting ready to go down to Itamporo, where there's a whole shitload of sinkholes, and also a really good wave uh, we can just paddle out to. It.
You want to talk about that? That I found a dead person in a cave stuck to the ceiling completely. Yeah. You need someone to talk about? Decomposed. Talk to? And? And well, he was completely decomposed. He was wearing purple blue shorts and the calf muscle was hanging off his leg. That's gnarly. The villagers offered you like a zebu to get the body out. Yeah, but I'm not. Hey with Patrick, so what are we doing? We're checking a hole. <laughs> a really small hole. We're filled with water here in north of, where are we? No, south of. No, we're north. Uh, north of Itampolo, yeah, right, yeah. North of Itampolo. Uh, it's a pretty cool dry cave. And here's a puddle of water. And how do you like the spiders? Uh, man, they're massive. Check out this cave up here. So they marked as a GPS point, it's really big, it's after Avon and the local guy here says there's water at the bottom Wow Wow Madagascar doesn't fuck up, uh, fuck around with the size of sinkhole, that's pretty big, huh? So we're here at uh, this cave and uh, it's fucking huge, huge, right? Pretty cave? Yeah I don't know how the fuck are we gonna get down so What are we doing today? We're gonna go exploring. What happened yesterday? So yesterday, um, Philip was sick. So I went by myself to uh, a cave that they he checked out, that Philip checked out with, or that you checked out with Ryan the other day. And it was like a 12, 30 meter rappel down. Uh, found the water source. Uh, jumped in with my, with my clothes, with a mask, and saw there might be going passage. So I went back out to the guys, told them I need my gear. They lowered the cylinders and lowered my bag. I got dressed, tied off and off I went. Then the cave kept on going and getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And so I finished uh, my 1,200 foot reel in about 28 minutes and then served it on the way out. And basically we turned around, it was just a massive, huge black room where my light didn't even manage to light up the walls. <laughs>
So, just got back from the dive. Patrick's still in the cave. I don't know, I'm, I don't even know what to say. Uh, literally, we were joking about like one day we're gonna find a cave that's so big that you don't even know what to do. That's exactly what happened. Like when I popped out there, I didn't even know what to do. It's so fucking big. So, Patrick just got back from the dive, we just did. How'd that go? That's... I didn't even know what to say. And when I first popped out, I was like, wow, that's a fucking huge room. But it's not a huge room, it's just a fucking, like... It's just a cave, it's a, Yeah, it's just a fucking huge tunnel that's so big that you don't even know what to do. You could actually empty the whole reel in one shot, even. If you wanted to, really. The battery's gonna run out. I have nothing to say. I don't really. I'm, I don't know what to say. Have you ever seen anything so big? No. My light. I didn't. I didn't even. When I took the reel over, I was like, I don't even know where to swim. Like. It's ridiculous. I could go there. I. I couldn't see the walls. Swimming constantly around 14. We were right? swimming on the fucking ceiling, dude. At the end, I came down to 80 feet. I think so. Mm -hmm. And I fucking dig up my ass, dude. Yeah. I had 77 feet, like. 26 meters or whatever and it's like I'm on the ceiling on the ceiling and there's just pitch black pitch black everywhere man and it's decorated too super decorated like super crazy man, decoration and where I ended there is like you know the monster house like one after the other we, we might we might have just tapped into the biggest ever cave system around we did. the world yeah we did <laughs> I can't fucking believe it, man. Fuck, man. We need scooters. We need yeah. we need rebreathers, man. At some point, you're gonna there's gonna be rebreather. Yeah. You need to fucking do a rebreather yeah. course. Fuck. So we actually found the, the biggest, biggest and, and beautiful, most beautiful cave in the world. Yeah, in Madagascar. Bees look pretty nervous, man. This sucks. Don't spray dust on them. <laughs> <laughs>